Now, a news right here out of Chicago. A former police officer found guilty of murdering a teenager on the south side is being released from prison. Laquan McDonald was 17 years old when he was shot 16 times by Officer Jason Van Dyke back in 2014. McDonald's death set off national protests and calls for change. Now, civil rights groups are calling for federal charges against Van Dyke as he is set to walk free after serving less than half his sentence. Nick's standing by with all the details. Van Dyke is being released after just a little more than three years, which is tied to his good behavior in prison. While it's less than half of his original sentence, it was largely expected because of sentencing guidelines. 81 months, he served three years. That's a slap on the wrist. Civil rights activists in Chicago are calling for federal charges against former police officer Jason Van Dyke. Van Dyke is scheduled to be released from an Illinois state prison today, serving three years and three months of his nearly seven-year sentence. Van Dyke was convicted in 2018 of killing Chicago teenager Laquan McDonald with 16 gunshots. The shooting happened in 2014, sparking massive protests throughout the Windy City, and was the first time an on-duty Chicago police officer was convicted in 50 years. The Justice Department launched an investigation into Van Dyke's case in 2018, but it is unclear where that probe stands. This week, Illinois Senators Tammy Duckworth and Dick Durbin both signed on to a letter urging the DOJ to provide an update on the status of Van Dyke's federal investigation. But Laquan McDonald's great uncle believes this individual case is part of a much larger problem. A traffic stop can still become a murder in our city, uh, and it is happening over and over again, which is why I believe that the time of the citizenry would be more well spent in changing the laws in which the police are governed by. On Tuesday, NAAC President Derek Johnson voiced his support of federal charges for Van Dyke. In a letter to Attorney General Merrick Garland, Johnson writes, given the egregious nature of his crime, the NAACP believes that at a minimum, the murderous officer should be charged with a federal civil rights violation. Adrian, it's important to note that if Van Dyke returns to Chicago, it will not be the same city he once patrolled. The department he was fired from is under a federal consent decree, mandating changes in things like transparency, sparked by the fatal shooting he committed and the cover-up that followed. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.